Spencer right here. And Billy Joe Cobra. He's an invisible ghost. How is it that only my home bots and I can see him? We've each got some of Billy Joe's gear. see the move that's gonna win us the district championships. Brevard High is gonna eat our dust. Right, girls? Yay! Yay! It's irritating. The Cobra's in. Dad, you're not a cheerleading coach. You're an accountant. Not anymore, sonny boy. We were bought out by the financier M.T. Callery. He and I had a good meeting, and we decided to go our separate ways. Wait, isn't M.T. Calorie Lolo's dad? Uh, now that you mention it, he did say something about how his daughter was making him fire me so we'd have to move back to cow country, and she'd never have to see your stupid face again. I thought the last part was kind of mean. What? Spencer dad got another job? How am I supposed to get rid of Spencer now? So, how are you gonna pull this off? You don't know anything about cheerleading. Hmm. <laughs> <Ooh. Woo -hoo>! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Maybe he does. You didn't know your father is a cheerleading legend? Why didn't you ever tell me? Some things are just too painful to talk about. I had it all! The looks, the moves, the spirit, until that one show I decided to try it. The most dangerous stunt, Gravity's Rainbow! I vowed never to cheer again. But a man's got to take care of his family. It's either this or go back to cow country. Huh? Of course, you'll join the squad too. What? No way. You're my son. Cheering is in your genes. Go with the flow, bro. With me on your squad, you'll crush it. Aw. Great practice, ladies. Can I get a woo? Woo! How's my squad looking, Hugh? We've got a lot of work to do if we're gonna beat Brevard. They're the district champs nine years running. I'm quite aware of their recent success. The principal there, one Walter Minotaur, is fond of rubbing my nose in that fact. But this year, I'll have my revenge. Well, we'll do our best. If you don't beat the Terminator, you can kiss this job goodbye. Uh, girls, we've got to win this thing, no matter what it takes. There is one more stunt I want to show you. It's called Gravity's Rainbow. Oh, yeah. Dad! Spencer, you have to lead the team to victory. Only you can save our family. My cheerleading manual. Um, no pressure, though. But, Dad, I, I don't know anything about cheerleading. You're all right. You were born to cheer. Uh, tell Mom I'm gonna be a little late for dinner. Yeah. Okay, guys. Losing Coach Hugh was a major blow. Isn't that Spencer coaching them? <laughs> Our work is done here. <laughs> They've already lost. Come on, Adrian. Let's go shopping. Like, why should we, like, listen to you? Yeah, like, what do you know about cheerleading? Not much, but I've got one very important secret weapon. Yeah! My dad's cheer book! Excuse me? Huh? All right, that's a spirit. Let's try the routine called Take It to the Limit. We start with some brewing, then some herky jumps, then we go into our tumbling pass. Not bad, but 
but you bases really need to be there for the Flyers. I'm seeing a little too much wobble. Huh. I guess cheerleading is in my genes. Okay, time out, provolone slice. Okay, uh, girls, take five. Go hydrate. Woo! Hey, no offense, dude, but your choreog is, like, way old school. But no worries. Cheermaster Cobra has the routine that kicks poutine. Check it. <laughs> of course, we'll need to figure out some moves for the girls to do in the background, but, you know. Uh, Billy? Hey, you're right. We don't need the girls. Billy, this isn't about you. The routine is for the squad. What? Without a sizzlicious front man, no one's gonna give a squat about your squad. I don't think an invisible front man is gonna win us any competitions. Uh... Look, I appreciate your help, but I got this covered. Well, I guess all your years of performing in front of millions of people makes you an expert! Just calm down, Billy. I don't have time for one of your celebrity hissy fits. I'm perfectly calm, Spencer. Perfect, my God! <laughs> little wager on the outcome. If the Beverly's win, you give me your mascot. The five-toed sloth. Okay, you're on. And if we win, you give me your wig. I don't wear a wig. <laughs> Fine, you're on. <laughs> huh? Sitting on the job, Coach Wright? <laughs> Actually, I had a little cheerleading mishap, but don't worry, the team's in good hands. Hey! <laughs> Billy! Oh man, am I glad you're here! Listen, sorry if I was a little harsh before. I don't think we should be talking, Jay Bro. We are rivals after all. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our first contestants, the Brevard Slots! It's done, Buster. Mm. Okay, team, gather round. Son, you've brought this squad a long way, but there's only one way we're gonna win this thing. We've got to do... <gasps> Gravity's Rainbow! I'll get it right this time? No, Dad. Let me do it. It's in my jeans. Oh.
Thanks, dude. Anytime, buddy. Though, I still think the Billiards should have won. Huh. I learned it all from the man in the chair. Right. I want you back at work 9 a.m. tomorrow. I like your pep. Sorry, MT, but I've realized that cheerleading is my destiny. That's why I'm starting up a cheerleading accountancy department, and you're heading it. <laughs> what? I hate you, Daddy! Pumpkin, don't be that way. It we're okay. In your faith, Minotaur! I'll take my winnings, please! <whistles> Buckles! <laughs> hey! Hey! Get me back my treasure!